In today's video, we're going to be talking about the spot price of silver falling into the $22 an ounce range and dollar cost averaging our way in. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, we're going to be talking about a little bit of a spot price update because the spot price of silver is now under $23 an ounce. It's in the $22 an ounce range, premium excluded, of course. But we also have to talk about dollar cost averaging, my way of stacking, many of your way of stacking, and what I believe makes the most sense. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, go and get your five free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account, refer three friends before the end of the month, they're going to give you a free share of Apple with the chance of winning all the way up to 10 free shares of Apple. And of course, last but not least, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club. I'm going to be going live tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I have a giveaway that ends on January 1st. I'm giving away a silver and gold coin test kit so you can test whether or not Precious Metals are real or fake. Join before January 1st to get entered. All links will be in the description. So today is Wednesday, December 29th, 2021. The spot price of silver, as I'm filming the video, is $22.66. It's down $0.34 cents or down 1.48%. Pretty big red day for the white metal. And then as for gold, spot price is $17.96.30. It's down $9.90 or down 0.55%. Pretty decent red day for the yellow metal. And of course, the gold to silver ratio is in the 77 to 79 to 1 range. But again, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. So today, I wanted to talk about a couple of different things. I want to talk about the current spot price of silver. As we can see, it's in the $22 an ounce range. I want to talk about some of my hopes and expectations for the year of 2022. And then I want to talk about dollar cost averaging your way into silver and why I believe it makes the most sense. So first things first, with the spot price of silver down into the $22 an ounce range, premium excluded, of course, we got to factor in a little bit of a premium, so we can just probably add about maybe $4 to the spot price. That's how we get to stack price. Right now, the average premium for, I don't know, let's just say generic silver rounds, generic silver bars, about $4 over spot. Premiums have come down a little bit, especially if you were to look at what the premiums were looking like at the beginning of this year, almost 365 days ago, the premiums were intense to say the least. But nowadays, premiums have come down a little bit. And I personally believe that has quite a bit to do with the stacking demand settling down just a little bit. Of course, we're all stacking silver and gold. But all of the part-timers, I think they lost interest. I think they're gone. I think they went elsewhere. I'm not talking about the people who started stacking because they were recently introduced to it. No, a lot of us were recently introduced to it. I'm talking about the people who only got involved specifically for the short term. The people who were trying to make a quick buck. The people who fell into the whole Wall Street nonsense thing, website, whatever that thing is that says, oh, silver's going to go to $3 trillion an ounce on Thursday. I'm talking about those people, the people who dove into silver just to make a quick buck, and then they realized, oh, okay, this isn't some weird, random gambling investment type of thing. This is wealth preservation for the long term. This is, this is a precious metal right here. This is like, this is something for decades. This is something to be used for the long term. This is more of like an alternative to a savings account than anything else. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. This is a piece of metal. I think those people kind of fizzled out and faded away. I think they recently got distracted by whatever the latest 
hottest meme stock is. Silver, on the other hand, spot prices come down a little bit. We've seen a lot of craziness go on in the world. We've seen this happen. We've seen that happen. We've seen inflation go up. We've seen unemployment situations. We, we, we've seen so many different policies be introduced. We've seen a lot of spending. We've seen a lot of poor decisions being made by politicians. And we have some good news over here. We got some bad news over here. And so many different things play a role in what the current spot price is. But to me, spot price isn't really what matters all that much. A lot of people don't really complain about the spot price. They complain about the premiums. But like I said, I have noticed the premiums come down quite a bit over the last year. And I still get comments to this day saying that whenever spot price goes down a little bit, premiums go up by a little bit. That's not true. That isn't happening. That hasn't been happening. If that were the case, the stack price would have remained exactly the same, like to the penny for the last two years. That has not happened. When spot price goes down, the grand total out the door stack price goes down with it. Premiums aren't going up to make up for it. And if your local coin shop is doing that, that's not really the greatest sign in my opinion. My local coin shop isn't doing that. The online precious metal dealing websites are not doing that. Overall, generally speaking, that is not taking place. Premiums have gone down this year. And that's something that is, that's a breath of fresh air. That, that's, that's a relief seeing the premiums come down a little bit. I'm not too overly concerned on what the spot price is. Then again, you shouldn't be overly concerned with what the premiums are either because, like I've been saying, you just got to mesh the two together. Forget that spot price even exists. Forget that premiums even exist. Seriously, it's so much easier to just go buy stack price. If the spot price right now is $22 and the premiums on average are about $4, that means the stack price is about $26. Just assume that that's the price. Forget the premium, forget the spot price. Look at the stack price. That's what I've been doing for the last year and a half to two years, and it makes so much more sense to me. Now, moving on into 2022, I don't exactly know what to expect, but I know that I'm hoping to see the premiums continue to move in a downward direction. I don't really worry about what the spot price is doing. I don't really worry too much about what the premiums are looking like, but of course I want to get the most bang for my buck, so it would be nice to see the premiums come back down a little bit. I don't, nobody really has too much control over what the spot price is, but the dealers have control over what the premiums are, and indirectly, we have control over that. We decide how much silver is worth over spot. You see, if none of us were paying the crazy high premiums earlier this year or late last year, they wouldn't have been able to get away with charging so much over spot. Supply and demand. The only reason they were able to charge such crazy premiums is because you and I were paying those high premiums. So in a weird way, we do have control. We do have a say in the matter. We just happen to keep saying yes, no matter what price tag they stick on it. So it's something to consider. Moving away from that, I want to talk about dollar cost averaging into silver. And I read this article several years ago, and it was actually more about Coca-Cola stock, believe it or not. So I'm going to use it as an example, and then I'm going to tie into the silver and the gold, because this makes sense. Hear me out, just using this as an analogy. I read this article written by someone several years ago. I don't even remember who wrote it or, or, or what exactly it was about. But in the article, they talked about how no matter what the stock market is doing, no matter what Coca-Cola stock is doing, they put $500 a month into Coca-Cola no matter what. Now, at the time, the price of each share of Coca-Cola was about $40 or so. So at the time, $500 can get you about 12, 12 and a half shares of Coca-Cola. Not bad. But if you were to fast forward to present day, it's not $40 anymore. It's actually just a hair below $60, which means $500 can only get you maybe about eight shares of Coca-Cola. Eight shares. You used to be able to get 12 and a half. 
you're only able to get two thirds, less than two thirds of what you were able to get a couple of years ago when the share price was $40. But guess what? They're still putting $500 a month into Coca-Cola. Now, the reason I bring this up is because I want to intertwine a little bit of silver and gold momentarily, but the reason I bring this up is because that's their way of dollar cost averaging. There are a couple different ways of going about this when it comes to silver, when it comes to stocks, when it comes to whatever. You can choose to say to yourself, I'm going to get three shares of Coca-Cola every month or every week. I'm going to get 10 ounces of silver every month or every week. You can go about it that way. That can be your target how many shares or how many ounces of silver you want to get regardless of the dollar bill price tag. But here's the thing. We don't have control over the dollar bill price tag. You and I don't have control over how much each individual share of Coca-Cola is going for. You and I don't have control over how much each individual troy ounce of silver is going for. So rather than setting that type of a target for yourself, it might make more sense to say, okay, rather than shooting for a specific number of ounces or a specific number of shares, I'm going to invest or convert a specific number of dollars because that, after all, is something that we have control over. Let me further explain. You can say to yourself, I want to put $500 a month into Coca-Cola. I want to put $500 a month into silver or into gold or into this or into that. That's something that you have control over. Because guess what? The spot price of silver or the share price of Coca-Cola or whatever goes up, it goes down. It's all over the place. There will be months, there will be times where with the same exact amount of currency, you're able to get significantly less. And there will be times where you can get significantly more when the share price goes down or when the stack price goes down as well. See, we don't have control over what the different markets are doing and what the prices or the valuations are looking like, those change over time, especially from a year to date window of time. Look at it 365 days ago and look how much things have changed. Want to know something that probably hasn't changed? Our income, for the most part. If you are a regular, normal person, if you are an average Joe with a job, you don't really have control over what your income looks like necessarily. Of course, you can pick up as much overtime as possible. You can get a part-time job or something like that. But at the end of the day, our bosses let us know how much an hour of our time or a year of our life is worth. And that's just essentially the income cap. There's not a whole lot we can do about that when it comes to working a job. So a year ago today, we were probably making the same amount of currency per hour or per year as we are today. So the markets change, our income doesn't change all that much. Spot price can double, triple, quadruple in a year. In theory, it could happen. Is our income probably gonna quadruple in a year? Most likely not. Definitely not if you're working a job. If you're running a business, sure, absolutely. You have the ability to scale that. You have control over how much money you make. But by working a regular job, you can't just walk in one day, you know, making 50000 a year and tell your boss, hey, I need 200 a year. It doesn't work like that. They're going to fire you. They're, they're going to they're gonna demote you to $0 a year. It doesn't work like that. So rather than saying, I'm going to get 20 ounces of silver or 50 ounces of silver or 100 ounces of silver or 15 shares of Coca-Cola or whatever it is that you're going to do, rather than doing it that way, figure out how much extra cash you have left over on a monthly basis, whether it be $5, whether it be 500, whether it be 5,000, I don't care. Figure out how much leftover cash after you're done taking care of the financial responsibilities, after you're done buying the food, paying rent, taking care of the bills and doing whatever it else it is that you need to do. Whatever is left over, that right there can be what funds the stack or what funds your investments. Again, it's not about saying, oh, I'm going to get 10 ounces of silver next month. Okay, sure, you can say that, but what if spot price goes up significantly and you're unable to get those 10 troy ounces of silver? Maybe you can only get seven or eight. Maybe you can only get four, depending on what spot price does. So rather than doing it that way, you can say to yourself, 
okay, instead of a set number of ounces, I'm going to put a set amount of cash in instead. I hope I painted the picture correctly, and I tried to intertwine Coca-Cola stock versus stack and silver. I know they have really nothing to do with one another. I just wanted to put that in. But really quick, speaking of the stock market, I just wanted to add that the S&P 500 is up 0.18%, the Dow Jones is up 0.26%, and the NASDAQ is down 0.08%. Just a little bit of a stock market update. And of course, as I've been saying for this entire month, go and get your free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. They were giving you two free stocks. Now they're giving you five free stocks just for signing up for the rest of the year. And if you refer three friends before the end of the month, they will give you a spin on the Weeble wheel where you're guaranteed a free share of Apple and you have the chance of winning two, three, five, seven, maybe even 10 free shares of Apple. And for every friend you refer for the rest of the month, they will give you six free random bonus stocks. So if you get to the point where you're able to spin the spin wheel, you will have gotten 18 free random bonus stocks, six per three referrals, five free random bonus stocks just for signing up, and one to 10 free shares of Apple, each worth over $170. Opportunities like this don't pop up every day, and you only have two days left at this point. Do not pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. Okay, so now back to silver. We talked about the spot price being down today. We talked about dollar cost averaging. We compared stacking silver to investing in Coca-Cola stock for some strange odd reason. But now I wanted to talk about some of my expectations for 2022. Unfortunately, I can't predict the future, so I have zero idea what's actually gonna be going on. But I like to think that as the stacking demand, all the hype and excitement around precious metals, oh my God, to the moon, after all of that kind of simmered down or as it's been simmering down for pretty much this whole year so far, the people who have long-term mentality, the people that are tunnel vision right now on the precious metals for 5, 10, 15, 50 years in the future, they're still here. Like I said, the part-timers, they fizzled out and faded away. They're gone. They're no longer with us. The people who are in it for the long term, they're still here. And guess what? The people who are in it for the long term, who have not yet discovered silver and gold, they're on the way. But the hype and excitement, all the craziness and chaos surrounding precious metals, I like to think that at least for the time being, that has simmered down. Now, something can take place next year in 2022, we could see another big wave of some more craziness. Let's just say another inflation report, or, or, or even worse, another three inflation reports come out, and inflation just keeps going up. The next one comes out, it's, it, inflation's gotten even worse. The one after that comes out, it's gotten even worse. The one after that comes out, oh my god, it's even worse. And it gets to the point where people start to really become afraid. You know, for the longest time, the last, you know, six months or so, we were being told, inflation, oh, it's temporary, it's transitory, it's going to come back down. So a lot of people were looking at the inflation reports, or they were listening to the inflation going up on the news, and they were saying, okay, you know, this is pretty bad, but, you know, it's just temporary. It'll come back down. What happens if another couple of months go by, and it just keeps going up and up and up, and it gets to the point where people are having a hard time working full-time jobs, affording groceries? What then? I think people are going to probably go into somewhat of a, a little bit of a panic mode frenzy trying to figure out a way to combat this type of inflation. Should I invest? Should I save? Should I stack? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I reduce my expenses? Should I increase my income? A lot of people are going to be asking themselves these questions. Now, I personally do not necessarily believe that that's going to be the case. I am optimistic when it comes to inflation. I think it'll come down a little bit especially during the next couple of months, we're going to see in 2022 what else is going to be taking place. But in the first quarter, I'm personally not expecting it to be all that bad. I don't, I don't think, you know, it's the calm before the storm just yet. I think we have a little bit of a ways to go. But hypothetically, that's why I bring this up. Hypothetically, if the inflation reports, just for example, that's just one example. There are so many other factors that can play a role as well. But hypothetically, if the inflation report 
next month comes out, and it's even worse. The one after that comes out, it's even worse. The one after that comes out, even worse. I think something like that could really drive people back into the silver and gold. Mostly gold. I think people more so turn to gold as somewhat of an, of an inflation hedge or a way of saving money for the long term. I think silver, at least for the big dogs, I think they see it as more speculative. And I absolutely see more growth potential in silver than gold. I believe both metals will continue to grow. But as I always say, for silver to double in value, all it would need to do is not even go up to its all-time high. For gold to double in value, it would need to go almost up to $4,000, a number that is never even seen before. It hasn't even come close to $4,000. Silver, on the other hand, it has seen 50, and for it to double in value from where it is today, all it would need to do is go up to, what, about $44, $45, $46? That's all it would really need to do. I think silver has the ability to do so. Why do I think that? Well, it's actually not because I think that. I know that. How do I know that? Because we've seen it happen before. Silver's already gone to $50 an ounce. Metaphorically speaking, if it happened yesterday, it can happen again tomorrow. Therefore, I see more growth potential in silver from where it's currently sitting. Now, that opinion might change. Right now, I do believe silver is arguably the most undervalued asset on the planet, or at least one of them. Will I have the same opinion this time next year? I don't know. Only time will tell. Depends what spot price is doing. Depends how the world world is looking. You see, we can say something today and have a completely different stance any time in the future. We have the right to change our opinion when confronted with new information, as the great Chael Sonnen always says. So who knows where we're going to be next year? I personally don't know. I would just like to see the stacking demand continue to simmer down. I would like to see silver continue to make its way off of the radar. I would like to see silver not even really be paid attention to by the people who are trying to gamble with their dollars. I want the hype and excitement to go away. I want the stacking demand to simmer down. I'd like to see the premiums come down, but at the end of the day, premiums don't exist. It's stack price. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. I know it was a little bit jumbled. I was doing this video really quick right off the cuff. I'm actually about to be on my way out the door. So I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic, everything that we talked about today. What are your thoughts on the spot price of silver being in the $22 an ounce range right now? Are you going to continue dollar cost averaging your way in in 2022? And of course, what are your thoughts on everything shared today, even if it has something to do with comparing and contrasting putting $500 a month into Coca-Cola stock to putting $500 a month into potentially the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm going to be going live tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout-outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And, of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial-free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. If you guys like today's video, please... Hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. If you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have the t-shirts, the hoodies, the stickers, the coffee mugs in a bunch of different designs. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. Make sure to go and get your five free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. If you refer three friends before the end of the month, you only have like a day and a half left to do this, they will give you a spin on the Weeble wheel where you're guaranteed at least one free share of Apple with the chance of winning two, three, five, seven, maybe even 10 free shares of Apple. 
each worth over $170 right now. And also, for the rest of the month, for every friend you refer, you will receive six free additional bonus stocks. So if you refer the three friends to get the spin on the Weeble Wheel, you'll get 18 free random bonus stocks for referring to three friends, five free f random bonus stocks just for signing up, and one to 10 free shares of Apple. Like I said before, opportunities like this do not pop up every day. Do not pass up on an opportunity. Weeble link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on the current spot price of silver being in the $22 an ounce range? Premium excluded, of course. In fact, I could reword the question and say, what are your thoughts on the current stack price of silver right now? Which is $22 and change plus about $4 over spot. So $26, $27, somewhere between. What are your thoughts on the current stack price of silver? What are your thoughts on dollar cost averaging your way in? And what is your plan or what are your expectations for the precious metals in the new year in 2022? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.